Tell you never frolic in my personal space. I let him frolic. It's a perfect day for it. <laughs> Can I chase the birdies into the alley, Lucky? Can I? Sure, buddy. Just don't let McLeish see you. <laughs> yep. Perfect day. Sunshine, no pups to place. Things like this are made for a dog to unwind. <laughs> That pup's more appealing than a half-eaten pizza crust dropped in a greasy New York gutter. <laughs> please, little dog, please! I can't take it no more! <laughs> uh, what's up with that? Heck if I know. You there! What do you think you're doing tearing into my dog pound like some kind of truck-driving, muscle-bound... <laughs> blubbering little schoolgirl? Mr. McLeish, it's the Smashinator, my favorite professional wrestler of all time. <gasps> Make that my second favorite professional wrestler of all time. The Smashinator has destroyed many an opponent, but this time the Smashinator has met his match. Please don't catch him, man. You gotta take this puppy off my hands. <laughs> this puppy? Yes, yes! Release the Smashinator from his nerve-wracking, devastating burden! <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Olaf, put this devastating little bundle of joy in the kennel, and let's get you a tissue. Hmm. Must be a cat person. Here you go, little puppy dog. And don't you worry, you're so cute, you'll get adopted in no time. Hey there, pup. I'm lucky, and this is... I'm Rebound. That big human was my owner. He drove back. Did you see him? Did you see him? He was all like, vroom, vroom, and I was all like, bark, bark, bark. I climbed on him while he was making his big truck go, and I barked and licked his face and barked some more. <laughs> hey, slow down there, Rebound. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you're so cute. You could frolic on my belly for all I care. <laughs> Get off of my belly. <laughs> It's astounding how the simple-minded are capable of entertaining themselves. Oh, how could I resist? Pretty cute. Yep, this one should be a cinch to get adopted. <laughs> Thank you so much, kind dog catcher. The Smashinator will not forget this. Well, with any luck, I will. Bye now. Ugh, I hate my job. Boy, that was weird. I've never seen a grown man so upset. Yes, the bigger they are, the harder they cry. You'd never catch me acting like such a big baby. Hello? Oh, my mother! Why, I was just thinking about calling you. No, really, mother. Oh, mommy, I promise I was. Why, I'd do anything for... A visit? Here? Tomorrow? But, but... No! Leave, sir? <laughs> Thank you, Olaf. You know, Rebound, we pound puppies have a say. There's a pup for every person, a person for every pup. So don't you worry about finding a home. Oh, I'm not worried, because I'm cute. That's what everyone says. And humans like cute puppies, so humans like me, because I'm cute. Did I mention I was cute? Oh, a speaker! Oh, a squeaky toy! Oh, a tail! Hey, 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 don't mess with that. It's attached to me. Hey, guys, you should have seen the birdies. I was running out of there, was flying, and... Uh, let, let go! C come on, Rebound, let go! Oh, no! It's her! It can't be! Ah! What's eating him? Uh, hello, I'm the one who's getting eaten here. A little, little help? I'll go find Niblet. You see if you can pry the new kid off a squirt's tail. In less than 24 hours, my mother is going to walk through the front gate. What am I going to do? Well, you could put out the nice china and bake some snickerdoodles and... Olaf, you dim bulb. I'm not worried about entertaining her. I'm worried... 
I'm worried she'll find out I'm a dog catcher. She doesn't know you're a dog catcher? I never told her. Dog catcher is such a lowly position. I mean, she knows I work for the city, but I always let her think I was a big shot. But dog catcher's a job any mom would be proud of. Not my mother. She hates dogs. The last place she'd want to set foot in is a dog pound. Gee, that's too bad, sir. Because she'll know what this place is as soon as she sees it. I mean, what else could it be? Olaf, that's it! What else could it be? I don't know, sir, but could you open the door? You just slammed it on my pinky! Shush! I'm scheming! Nebulet! Nebulet, hey, bud, what's the deal? Is he still there? Please tell me she isn't still there! Oh, Cookie? Not Cookie! The new puppy! Rebound? Do not say that name! Do you know her? Know her? I survived her! That puppy is my sister! Your sister? From another litter! Well, isn't that a good thing? No, it's terrible! She was always hanging on to me, chasing after me, never leaving me alone! Oh, come on. She's just a puppy. Oh, you'll see, Lucky. You'll see! I'm a genius, Olaf, a genius! But, Mr. McLeach, I still don't get your plan. It's so simple. I'll disguise the entire pound. She'll have no idea what it is. Disguise the pound, but... Excuse me. I'd like to adopt that adorable little puppy. Yeah, yeah, fine. The fewer dogs around here, the better. But talk to him. As of this moment, I no longer work at a dog pound. <laughs> oh, are you a sweetie poo? We're gonna have such fun. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. You see, Nibbler, nothing to worry about. Rebound's been adopted already. No, Lucky, you don't understand. There's a reason her name is Rebound. She always comes right back. No matter what you do, you can't get rid of her! What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Ow! This dog is out of control! First she's in my hair, then she's on the dashboard! The barking, the licking, the non-stop frenetic shenanigans! I can't handle it! <laughs> See, I told ya! Okay, this might be a little harder than I thought. Just to the left! An inch to the right! No, no, my right! Don't make me come up there, you lunk-headed crane monkey! Ah, to the right! Pretty please! What's that whacked-out human up to now? I don't know, but this certainly complicates things, doesn't it? Look at me! I'm running this way! And I'm running that way! Wiener Dog's got a point! How are we gonna get this puppy adopted with all that junk in the way? Don't worry about it. I've already got a plan in the works that even McLeish can't mess up. Squirt! <laughs> Right here, Locke. What the heck is that? It's called a flyer. Humans stick them up all over the place. You made it yourself? Of course not. Well, what do you think? I'm crawling with thumbs? Uh, I called it into the printers, and they delivered it. You are a genius, Squirt. I mean, not technically speaking, but, well, you know. Did you tell them to print exactly what I said? Absolutely. <clears throat> Perky, adorable puppy for adoption. Throw me the ball! Throw me the ball! One of a kind royal dog with million dollar fortune. I hated that part. Stop if interested, come to Shelter 17, Elm Street, downtown. Fine. Now, about getting those flyers posted. Already done. I called in some favors. A pigeon here, a squirrel there, bada bing, bada boom. You got 200 of these things on lampposts, mailbox, phone poles, all over the city. Baby dog, sometimes you amaze me. Nah, it ain't nothing. It's like they say, you, you scratch my belly, I scratch yours. Now, excuse me while I go take a nap. I've been, uh, scratching a lot of bellies, if you know what I mean. Actually, I don't know what he means. And I don't want to know. We were playing catch, but now he's gone. Where'd he go? Squirt's getting a little well-earned dog nap. Good news, though. Any minute now, a whole pack of humans is gonna come through that front gate looking just for you. Yay! Looking, <laughs> looking for someone. Where's Niblet? Wow, Mr. McLeish. It's like the dog pound Hercules would have worked at if he was a dog catcher. This is no longer a dog pound, Olaf, and I'm no longer a dog catcher. Today, I'm... Director of Central City Dispatch and Transportation. Oh, that sounds important. What is it? Exactly. And exactly. When Mother drops by, she'll be impressed for sure. Yet she'll have no idea why. Did I mention I'm a genius? Every day, sir. 
But what if the dogs start barking? That's where you come in, Olaf. While my mother's here, it's your job to keep the dogs quiet. Quiet? How am I supposed to keep a pound full of dogs quiet? Here, take this. It's the key to my personal beef locker. If those mutts so much as make a peep, throw a stake in their jowls. Mmm, beef. Fine, throw a stake in your own jowls, too, but keep those dogs quiet. All I can say is mother better end up proud of me. All this shameless lying is costing me a fortune. Nimlet? Hey, big guy, where are you? Leonard? Mother, what a pleasant surprise. What do you mean, surprise? I called yesterday and told you I was coming. Of course. I mean, what a pleasant treat. Ah. Say, you know what this place smells like? Uh, success? Dogs. You don't have any dogs on the premises, do you? You know how I detest them. Dogs? <laughs> of course not. I'm much too important to be bothered with dogs. What was that? That was one of my assistants, yes. I run a tight ship here at the old, the old Department of Central City Dispatch and Transportation. <laughs> my employees may howl from time to time, but I'm the boss, and I know how to keep them in line. I got the fresh meat, Mr. McLeish. I'll toss it to them right away. Uh, right, Olaf. Carry on. You control your employees by throwing them meat? I like it. Here you go, doggies. Yummy meat. Now please keep quiet so Mr. McLeish's mean dog-hating mommy will respect him. McLeish's mom? I must say, Leonard, this workplace of yours isn't nearly as pathetic as I expected. Well, thank you, Mother. But I still can't get over the feeling that there are dogs around. For instance, why are my shoes covered with these ghastly wads of fur? Oh! No, no, Mother Honest, it's my fur. The hair. See, you know how fast we men of responsibility go bald. <laughs> well, good, because dogs are horrible, ugly, smelly creatures. And if I ever came across one, I'd make it in a soup. <laughs> wow, that old lady's meaner than a junkyard human. Who cares? With food like this, I wish he'd visit every day. Yeah, I'm surprised that chow hound nibbling ain't here wolfing this stuff down. Where's he at anyway? Yeah, good question. I've been looking for him all over and... And I think I just found him. Uh, nibblet? I'm not nibbling, I'm a tree. So go away and so help me. I'll drip sap all over you. Come on, you can't hide forever. I have to, Lucky. If Rebot spots me, she'll never leave me alone. Oh, you're getting way more worked up over this than you need to. I mean, yeah, she can be a little energetic and a little, well, talkative, but she's not that bad. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Niblet, it's Niblet, my gosh, it's Big Brother Niblet. I love you, love you, love you. Wanna play? Let's play. Ha ha, let's play. Play, 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 play. Yeah, okay, Rebound. Let's play hide go seek. You count to a billion. She's gonna count all the way to a billion, isn't she? I think she just might. Oh, why lucky? Get off my belly! Get off my jump! Get off my jump! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Get off my jump! Get off my jump! Get off my jump! Uh oh. Well, Leonard, I must say, your workplace looks remarkably not entirely disappointing. Oh, Mother, that's the most loving thing you've ever said to me, and I assure you I'm just as important as these buildings look. What was that? Uh, nothing, Mother, nothing at all. Uh, why don't we head to my office for some yummy snickerdoodles? You like those, right? Olaf! Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Silly dogs, get out of my way. Mr. McLeish needs me to take care of... Dogs! On the loose! Oh, golly! Here, doggy, doggy, doggy! I tell you, Mother, this important job of mine is so important you wouldn't believe the important things I have to do all day. Dude, I came about this puppy because, you know, I want to adopt her. Puppy? What is this filthy little beatnik talking about? I, I have no idea. Obviously, he's some lone cuckoo got lost and... Hey, where's this puppy? I want this puppy. Can I see her? I want to see her now. Back off, Toots. I was in first. Give me my puppy or else. <laughs> Leonard! Mother, I swear to you, there's a perfectly good explanation. I, I... <laughs> you are a dog 
Schmerzer. Oh, oh, maybe. Found ya! Oh, Nickel, that was great! We should do this all the time, don't you think? Don't you? Huh? We should always be together. Just you and me, me and you, 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 me, 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 brother and sister together forever and ever. Stop! You can't take it no more! What do you mean? Oh, all you do is follow me around and jump all over me and lick me. You're the most annoyingest little sister who ever got born. And I don't want to see you ever, ever, ever again. Okay. If that's what you want. Nibbler? What was all that about? I couldn't take it anymore, Lucky. I just couldn't. Look, buddy, I know where you're coming from. I got 15 sisters of my own, but you kind of hurt her feelings just now. I guess I was a little harsh. You're her big brother. She looks up to you. Yeah, you're right. I guess I should go apologize to her, huh? That's my niblet. Hey, little sister, I just want... Where'd she go? You're a dog catcher? And all these years you've been lying to me? I'm disgusted. But mother, mommy, please, it's not what it looks like. What it looks like is a disappointing son who will be cut out of my will, trimmed from the family scrapbook, and uninvited to Thanksgiving. But, but the turkey. Well, get the turkey. Worry about your dogs, because if any of them ever gets close to me again, I'll, I'll chop them into mincemeat pies. Don't worry, Nibbler. We'll find him. <gasps> I just did! Rebound! What am I done? We gotta bring back Rebound. We gotta bring back Rebound! I know, Nibbler. We're working on it. Yeah, we got the Pigeon Network up looking for her right now. And if anyone can find a shiny, freshly washed limousine, it's Pigeons. Rotten son, can't believe he lied to me. Knows how I hate dogs. Disgusting, ugly, foul, smell. Oh, what am I going to do? All I've ever wanted is mother's approval, and now she thinks I'm a failure. Maybe if you just talked to her, you know, told her the truth. The truth? I can't do that. But I've got a better idea. I'll tell her I work for the CIA. I have a secret base below the dog pound. If I told you more, mother, I'd have to make you disappear. Disappear? Wait, so are you a spy or a magician? Magician? What are you doing? Oh, why am I even talking to you? I've got to drive out there and tell her something. Anything! Being a magician is nothing to be ashamed of. Come back here, you free bitch from the room! That's a priceless Tiffany Boz! Ha! Where are you gonna go now, eh, doggy? What are you mutts doing in here? You got somewhere to go, doggies? You can walk! <laughs> Squirt, I thought you knew what you were doing. The laundry truck, the hay wagon, we get all the way to the train and you blow it by letting the human see you? Did I blow it, Cookie? Did I really? I hope your words make their own gravy. You know why? Because you're about to eat them. Sorry. Should have known better, I guess. Nicely done. All right, Nibblet, old pal. Let's go get your sister. Nibblet? Rebound! Rebound! No! Oh! <laughs> oh, don't worry, sis! I'm coming for you! Ah, no! I gotta get in there! Um, um. That chip blade! Oh, but dogs can't climb trees! Or can they? Steps, steps, steps. Oh, this will be delicious. <laughs> Sweet Lassa Apso, that old lady's gonna eat her. No time to find Niblet. We gotta stop this. Cheese it, it's McLeish. Mother, the truth is... <clears throat> now, the reason I didn't tell you is... I really like turkey and... Leonard? 
Oh, Mother, see, the thing is... You are wonderful! I... I am? Here goes Duffin! Huh? Rebound! Niblet? I've come to rescue you! Rescue me? How come? I saw her rebound, the beat old lady! She was gonna chop you up and put her in her suit! Well, not if I can help it! Wait a minute, you risked your life to protect me? Yep, that's what big brothers are for! But Niblet, Agatha's nice! Say what? Oh, yes, I was mad at you for lying to me all those years. But when I got home, I found that adorable little puppy you put in my car. I did? Um, that's right, I did. Because you don't really hate dogs? Well, I always assumed I did. But this puppy is so bouncy and full of life, she makes me feel young again. Now I see just how important your job really is. Mom, you're hurting me. And she's been playing and laughing with me ever since. She even gave me this neat leash. But thanks for trying to rescue me, Niblet. You're the bestest big brother ever. Oh, thanks. <gasps> I gotta get out of here. But first, here, sis. What's a pal puppy? Always a pal puppy. Thanks, big brother. I'll wear it for sure next time I see you. Next time? What do you mean next time? Well, now that I'm a McLeish, I'll be coming back to the pound forever and ever and ever and ever. Right? 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 <laughs> right. I gotta go. Well, there you are, my little pussy wishes. Who's my puppy whoopy? Who's my puppy whoopy? Well, I didn't see this coming. You mean this wasn't part of your sneaky plan? Nope, Cookster. As much as I'd like to take credit, this time it was just something that was meant to be. Who's my puppy whoopy? Oh.